Hey there, Segudo Golfers. Tom Segudo here, PGA member, founder of Segudo Golf. And big congrats to Bryson DeChambeau for his win yesterday. Just tanking the ball like an animal, swinging with the wrath of God. So in this episode, I've got a big driver here, and we're gonna learn three awesome power keys that you can do in your driver's swing to mash it like DeChambeau. Let's get started. DeChambeau, more like DeChambeaufed. We're gonna start this episode off with a clean contact key because clean contact leads to centered strikes and more distance for you. And it's big with the driver because if you miss just off the heel or the toe with the driver, you can lose up to 14% of your yardage. So finding the center of the face right here in the sweet spot is paramount to successful, powerful driving. You gotta hit it clean and swing hard. DeChambeau has two consistency keys built into his swing right off the bat. First key, arm straight and the arms are gonna stay straight throughout the swing. The arms preserve the circle of the swing. The golf swing's a circle, there's my point of contact. If I keep my arms straight, the point of contact will stay the same every single time throughout the swing, leading to clean strikes for you all day long. The lead arm here should never break down. If it breaks down, you've compromised your power. Stop where the swing, where the arms stop and the shoulders stop, your swing should stop. The next consistency key is DeChambeau's main driver of the golf swing, which is core, his newfound core, that steak and potatoes. We could eat a bunch of steak and potatoes, build up our core, but the whole idea here is you keep the arms straight and you use your chest, the upper chest to turn to put the club in a powerful position. And when you do this, it creates power because you allow your body to turn. Don't restrict your body when you do this, by the way. Let everything go. Let the hips get pulled around. Let it go. Let it go. And what, I don't care how you swing it back, what you gotta do is this. You turn your chest so the club gets up in this area. Just turn your chest and throw the club up there by turning your chest up here behind the shoulder. Just put it up there. I don't care about what you do in here. I just want you to get up there and bomb the drive. So just turn your chest with your arms straight and put the club there. That's all you gotta do. Not here and not here. We're turning our chest in between. When you do that, you automatically get the perfect shoulder turn. And it's a thoughtless way to swing the golf club. It's beautiful because it doesn't require any thinking at all. And it just happens, the backswing happens. If I connect my arms and turn my chest, put the club in this area, this circle right here, just think about this, put it there. Boom, backswing, done. And now you're setting yourself up for a consistent, powerful golf swing. So first, put the club here by chucking the chest up and away from you. The arm staying straight will put the club here all day. Woo! It's Monday morning. This is like 8 a.m. here, and I haven't practiced or warmed up at all. Man, that was far. Woo! Right on the middle. All right. Put the club here, arm straight. Ooh, Monday morning mashing, bam! That feels good, right on the center. Right on the center. Even the hat's coming off. Now let's get into the real power tips, how we can leverage the ground for power. The key to getting speed in the golf swing is using what we've got around us, gravity and the ground. We can utilize these two sources to generate a heck of a lot of speed. And. It is body friendly speed at that. We're just using what's naturally around us and I'm allowing my body to turn. So the next key, by the way, I'm out of breath because golf is a sport, but it's effortless, still effortless. What we gotta do next is free up your body to turn. Turn equals power. Allow the hips to turn. Stop restricting and loading this leg. It's killing your golf swing. It's killing your back. If you want to swing it and bomb it like DeChambeau, which by the way, the way he does it is body friendly. He's not restricting his body when he does this. What you do is you keep your body relatively centered in the golf swing, weight slightly forward in the front leg, and then as you swing back, you should feel pressure building up in the front leg here. This knee will go down, this knee will go up. And then on the downswing, we're gonna leverage that and spring off of it for a power source. So if you load the right side, you can't access this ground power. There's nothing to push off of here. And you watch him swing, those knees are down and then they push off 
and boom, and he turns through. So we gotta do a couple different things here. First thing, allow the hips to turn. So as I take the club back, you're going to get those hips turning as much as possible. This goes along with the chest turn I talked about earlier. Turn the chest, put the club here. You'll see this leg go down, you'll free the hips up to turn. You gotta free them up and feel pressure in the front leg. You got something to bring into the ball. When we get to this part, the backswing, you gotta push off this leg and send it. So just the mere act of pushing off this leg gets the hips turning through, squares you up in impact, and then you explode and extend, which I'll talk about next. Important things first, you've got to be able to turn the hips, which means straightening the trail leg, loading the front leg. We put that club here, like I mentioned, turn that chest, it should happen naturally. Let it go, straighten this leg, get the hip turn and load the front leg. You've got all the power built up within you at that point. Club is here, chest turning up, everything reacts to that chest turn. And my goodness, it feels like you got a serious power build on the front leg. We're now gonna talk about how to leverage that. More hip turn means more backswing, so bigger backswing length, which means more power for you. It also means less back pain because you're freeing up the core you're freeing up, taking the stress off the joints and the lower back because you're letting everything go where it naturally would. And that's important if you want to have any chance of playing powerful golf well into your later years of life. In fact, it's one of the main keys I use to hit the ball really far and at the end of the round, I just feel like nothing has happened. I feel so calm and free and relaxed because of the way I allow my body to work. You just allow it to work, don't restrict it. Power key number three, and this is the bombing key. This is what enables DeChambeau to whack the crap out of the ball. And by whack the crap out of the ball, I mean seriously, he's built up all this power by turning, putting the club there, loading the front side. Now he needs to pull the trigger on that cannon and let all that energy go to the target. So the key here is to explode. So we load, putting the club here with my chest turn, arm straight, then we explode by pushing off of this leg and extending my back upward. The more I can extend, the more power I can create. This is no secret. Look at the longest drivers on tour, the longest drivers in the world long drive championships. You see the back really extended. And this is good for your back because it releases it out of its compressed state. A lot of people hurt their backs because they stay too compressed in the golf swing. They, they forget to extend upward. So you're taking your back out of that pressure state into a relieved, extended, free state. It also allows the hips to turn more, which means more power. Come on, people, let's get it. Let's get it. So what we're going to do is this. You've got this beautiful loading here, front legs down. You're going to push off of it. Imagine there's something down there you're stepping on and push off of it. Or you can imagine that you want to send your body upward toward the target. Remember that watermelon drill, chuck the watermelon? That gets you to do that. Send it up this way with the arms staying straight. That gets your body going up, extending upward, which is the power move. It's the key power move here. Extension, do this with me. We're gonna put the club here, turn the chest, straight arms, put it there, load the front side. Now. Try and extend that watermelon, send everything upward to the finish to extend the body. Upward to the finish. Chuck a watermelon upward. Check out that, that episode if you haven't learned that yet. Or just envision, envision that you're gonna tuck your butt under toward the target. The butt goes under toward the target, protruding this way. Under. It's a catapult. It's the, it's the howitzer of the golf swing. So we're gonna load it and then I'm going to catapult. And all I feel is effortless speed. That club gets whipped through the zone. Whipped through faster than you can ever imagine to swing it through. It's amazing, it's effortless and it's beautiful. So let's get over the shot now. You wanna load it by turning the chest, putting the club there, you feel the pressure here, and then you're gonna tuck the butt toward the target, protruding your body upwards, extending. And it's a miraculous power move. Don't think you're gonna lose consistency either because the arms are straight and you're turning your chest, remember? We're not doing any variables in the backswing. It's just a chest turn, arms staying straight. This is simply power. Here we go, put it here, 
tuck and extend through. This amazes me every time because I came from the old school way of doing things and I have never seen a ball go so far as with this type of swing. Put it there, extend, and this is body friendly. Just let, it, let everything go. Put it there. You're freeing up that body and you're kicking the crap out of the ball. Kick it, kick it, hit it, send it. Secudo golfers. Three great Bryson DeChambeau tips. I got a bonus tip coming up for you, and the last thing I gotta say to you is this. If you wanna have any chance of hitting it far, you gotta hit it hard. I reiterated this in an episode way back where you gotta send it with the wrath of God. Stop swinging easy. Do you think DeChambeau is swinging easy? Do you think he's getting over the ball? He's saying, oh ball, I love you so much, you're my best friend, I just wanna hit you nice and easy and hit it clean and have it go 150 yards. No, no. Loads it. If he was a hit it easy, I could still extend and hit it easy, like put it up in the air. But there's nothing there. Plus, I didn't even hit it well because I wasn't accelerating. Stop swinging easy. You got to hit it with the wrath of God. You got to send it to win it. So get over it and stop trying to be so nice. Golf's a four-letter word. There's nothing nice about it. So we're going to load, explode, put the club here with the chest and the straight arms, and then load the front side and explode off of it. My hat keeps falling off. Here we go. Putting it here. Chest turn, put it there. Oh, wow. You actually see DeChambeau's front leg. You see the front foot turning toward the target. That gives you an idea of how much he is extending. For him to do that, He's got to catapult everything forward. It's not just a hip turn like everybody thinks. It's, it's extension. Now, I'm going to try and do one of his swings. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! And it's right on the center. Right on the center. Right there sweet spot. It is a sport, by the way, but it feels great. I haven't even done any stretching or anything. Back feels fine. It feels like I've just been doing nothing. Just chilling. Segudo so golfers, if you want any chance of being powerful off the tee and accessing the natural forces around us, gravity, using the ground for power, and then consistency of turning your chest, keeping the arm straight, everything works together. So you got the consistency, which creates clean contact, which means more distance for you. And then once you've built the consistency, you've got the power. Load the front side, put, make sure you got your hands here, and then explode, and you'll feel it right away, even without a club. Load, explode. I feel like my hands just shoot through. You can do it. No more distance complaints from you. You'll be out driving your buddies, and they'll want to know what the heck you were doing. You took some steroids overnight or something. Whew. So, so good dog offers. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Congrats to Bryce and DeChambeau. Thank you for showing us what it means to whack the ball with the wrath of God. I love it. And if you're looking for a simplified way to play your best golf right now, check out my website, segudo.golf. A simple step-by-step -step system for you to play your best golf right now. Three to five minute videos covering every aspect of your game, from short game, long game, full swing, driving, chipping, putting, bunker play, and more as I continue to build the site. You're getting instructional videos from me that are way more in depth than what you see here on YouTube. So I strongly recommend you check it out. For the price of a Starbucks coffee, $10 a month, you can be playing your best golf immediately. So I hope to see you in class and have a rocking week.
Last thing I should mention, if you want to hit it more like DeChambeau and you've done these three tips of hitting the father but you want to go farther, you got to pretend that you've eaten 3,500 calories a day. So you shove a pillow up in your chest like this. What this does, it gets you automatically bulked up to DeChambeau level. <laughs> and then you can start hitting some massive, massive drops. <laughs> Put the hat on to look like him. This is the bigger keys, like fitness and everything. Well, not really. Just kidding. Just bulk it up. Oh, I'm even more connected when I get bulked. So, now you can see I've got that connection and I can turn my chest and still, still whack it. Okay, here we go. Bulked up. Remember to load. I got so much more to load now that I've got a ton of weight. And then we're gonna fire. Oh. <laughs> Man, that's a lot of beef. So I got my steak, my breakfast with five pieces of bacon, and we're going to put it here and send it. I got so much more to load that I've got all this weight. So it's a good up. If you need that last extra joke, check out the dietary supplements, stuff a pillow in your shirt, give you a little bit of extra mass to send in the ball because we all learned this equation, F and A, F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration, physics. So if you want to hit it far, then you need more mass times acceleration. So as you can see here, I bulked up, give myself a little more mass, you know I'm just messing with you, but the idea is Keyshambo also picked up a ton of yards because he gets bulked up like crazy. You don't have to bulk up to access these power sources, but if you do use the ground and grab your power, that will give you plenty of yards on your own. When I was, I'm 100 and, oh, 176 pounds, and I can hit the ball 280, 300 yards, and I'm happy with that. It's clean, it's fun, it goes out in the middle of the fairway. If I want to hit it far, just keep stepping on my shoes. Maybe I'll bulk up a little more, hit it for it like these shabo. But the idea is you don't need to work out to get this power. It's already built in to the swing system. You load the front side, you put the club here, and then you explode. And it doesn't matter what your body type. There are, varying, there are many different types of pros out there. A lot of them are skinnier than these shambo. And they whack the ball incredibly far. You gotta extend, you gotta go through, you gotta hit with the wrath of God. There's no holding back. There's no holding back. And if you wanna send it, you gotta leverage the ground and gravity. That's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.